Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Gold trading down around 1720 or so, staying within that trading range that we expected to trade in during the week. S&P and other credit agencies uh, announcing potential downgrades of European uh, sovereign debt. <clears throat> uh, this is not surprising to us at all, especially given the fact that uh, a couple of weeks ago there was a very weak German Bund sale and uh, the United States, Canada, and all the other good guys coming to the rescue have begun to print money. It is this money printing that will indeed produce the dramatic return in gold. Just remember that as all these people start printing money, that means the price of gold is going to go up. Now, while we always like to say lately that the United States economy is doing so much better than everybody else, and we're not really worried about Europe dragging down the U.S. or even China dragging down the U.S., <clears throat> we need to point out some things about the unemployment figures. Now, unemployment, of course, was reported down at 8.6%, um, and approximately one half of that uh, fall is caused by people simply dropping out of the workforce, no longer seeking work. And so what we have is a situation where the proportion of United States people who are employed, the proportion of the United States population who are employed is at 58.5%, uh, which is uh, extremely low and I think dangerous for our society. So the sooner we get people back to work over the next couple of years, uh, the better. Just remember I said over the next couple of years. There aren't going to be any structural infrastructure programs or anything like that in the next 12 months. We'll be lucky to have them within two years. My final commentary for today has to do with that legendary Democrat and uh, all-around good doobie, Vladimir Putin. Here's the question. When will the crackdown begin? The Russians don't really have a democracy anyway. You know, uh, their current relationship is as if uh, Obama and Biden decided to trade offices back and forth with Obama always being secretly in charge. So there's no democracy in, in Russia. What this does is expose how little democracy there is, and, uh, and the people are protesting the continuation of the corruption uh, that runs rife in Putin-era uh, uh, Russia. So the question isn't whether or not there will be a crackdown. The question is when and who will be arrested first. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and have a great day.